What's up guys, my name's Aaron Massey and welcome back to another episode of Homeschool. Today's project is how to fix a leaky kitchen faucet. In addition to being incredibly annoying, a leaking faucet can use up to 30 gallons of water per day and cost you in the hundreds of dollars per year. If left unfixed, you are literally letting money go down the drain. Now, of course, you could call a plumber to come out and fix this for you. It would probably cost you between $150 to $200. Or you could replace the entire faucet on your own, which would also cost you a couple hundred bucks. Or you could spend about 20 minutes and less than $10 and do it yourself, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. I rate these projects by how many F-bombs you're likely to drop while tackling the project. This one is pretty easy. Now, there are four basic types of faucets out there. There are ball faucets cartridge faucets, compression faucets, and disc faucets. Each of them have a slightly different repair approach. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna be focusing on a single handle kitchen ball faucet. A ball faucet works by allowing both the hot and cold lines to flow together inside a singular ball valve. That mixture is then released out the spout. You adjust the temperature of the water by moving the ball valve from side to side, which determines how much of each type of water gets added to the mixture. The first step to fix the faucet is to shut off both water lines with the valves under the sink. Next, remove the handle to determine which type of faucet you have if you're unsure. There's a small Allen screw usually on the face of most handles, which is sometimes obscured by a brand name cap that conceals it. This particular faucet is a Moen. Find the set screw and loosen it until the handle is free. With the handle off, you can look at it and you can tell that this one is a ball faucet. Next, we'll remove the cap that holds the ball valve in place by hand or with a pair of channel locks or tongue and groove pliers. If you're worried about scratching the metal plating, place a piece of rubber between the teeth of your pliers and the metal plating. Use a piece of an old hose, a rubber gasket of some kind, an inner tube, even a washcloth could work, whatever you have lying around. With the cap off, next we'll remove the water control cam, which is the V-shaped piece holding the ball assembly in place. Gently pry it out with the screwdriver. With that out of the way, now we can remove the ball assembly and inspect it for problems. This ball appears to be in pretty good shape, but if you notice any calcification or damage that can't be cleaned off, you may have to purchase a new one at your local hardware store. I found this one for about seven or eight bucks. Next, we're gonna look down inside the faucet body itself. There you'll find two valve seats, one for hot and one for cold. In most cases, this is where your problem is. The rubber seats have springs beneath them that press them against the ball assembly, creating a watertight seal, only allowing water into the ball when it aligns with the corresponding hole. However, over time, that rubber wears out and it's no longer a watertight seal, and that's where the leak comes in. So to remove the existing seats and springs, place a screwdriver roughly the same diameter as the hole inside the valve seat and gently pry them out. Here's what they look like once they're removed. With the old seats and springs out of the way, you're gonna to need to go pick up a new seats and springs kit. I found this one at Home Depot for about $3. To install the new seats and springs, you just follow the same step as the previous, but in reverse. Use the screwdriver to align the seats and springs in place, and then using your finger, press the seats down to make sure that they're seated properly. In some cases, you might hear a click or a pop to know that they're in place. From there, we'll reinstall the ball assembly, making sure that the groove aligns with the alignment pin inside the faucet body. Reinstall the control cam, and then make sure that the ball can move as it normally would, and then reinstall the handle, tightening down the set screw. Lastly, we'll turn the water back on at the valves under the sink, and then check the faucet for leaks. Now in my case, the valve seats were the problem, but if you still have leaks, it could be that you have to replace the ball assembly like I mentioned before, or if the leak is coming from a lower part of the faucet, you may need to take the faucet body apart and replace the O-rings. That's it for this episode of Homeschooled. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you did enjoy this episode, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know. Also be sure to subscribe and follow me on social media via the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Installing a laminate floor is an easy project you can knock out in a couple hours or in a weekend depending on the size of the room that you're working in. Buy the flooring a few days in advance and let it sit in the room that you're installing it in to let it get acclimated to the humidity in your home before you install it. 